Yo, Father Time, I'm back. <laughs> I've been gone doing papers. <laughs> yeah, um, anyway. Uh, that's me. Yeah, you can see me scratch my nose. Anyway, um, testing out three new Pokemon. Not a team. This is not a team. Um, that's all good. Um, yeah. You also notice that they're not named Jose. Um, they're actually named after Mizzou football players. But, um, I would never weed out with a Jolteon. Ever. But the reason I'm weeding out with him is because I figured he was most like Jeremy Macklin, our kick returner, punt returner, all-around specialist. And, uh, you know, that's where the game starts, is with the kick returner. So I figured I'll start off with him. Uh, Stealth Rocks me. That's cool. Um, get off my Thunderbolt. Yeah. Um, I figured I'll just keep on Thunderbolting. Yeah, no, this is... That's cool. Gets the miss. Um, obviously it's not wide lensed, but I figure he's gonna try for another hypnosis. So I went for the substitute. Hooray, now he does actually go for the hypnosis, and now I get pretty much a free Thunderbolt on this guy. Now I figure he hasn't switched out, you know. I'm keep on using Thunderbolt. And he hasn't switched out at all. So I figured you know, maybe he doesn't have anything to switch out to, a uh, ground type or an Electivire, or maybe a Jolteon of his own, or whatever, but, um, anyway, now I'm thinking, you know, I don't want to, you know, sub up and then get the Pataya Boost, because he's got the leftovers going, but, uh, so I'll, have, I'll figure, if I get killed with the Gyro Ball, that's cool, but I'll keep on going for Thunderbolt, and he does send out a Garchomp, um, absorbs my Thunderbolt, now I'm, now I'm thinking I'm just going to sub up Pataya Boost, but, um, he's Scarfed, that's cool. Choice items are great items to have. Um, I don't use them yet. I might put them on. Hmm, I might have them on right now. I don't know. No. Um, I guess you'll just have to find out when you play me. Um, I'm tricky like that. And this is a very tricky Blastoise. Obviously, he's fearing the Ice Beam. And I know he's fearing the Ice Beam. So I figure he's going to switch out. So I go for the Focus Punch. That's right. Is there is a focus punch on this Blastoise. This Blastoise is a, is a specific purpose Blastoise. Oh yeah, his name is Williams, after Lorenzo Williams, our defensive, uh, um, he, he made the, he made the sack on Todd Reasing, uh, last week. Kinda hard to talk and watch at the same time I was hoping that focus punch would have killed, but <clears throat> it doesn't, and he withdraws, and, uh, on, this is where it really goes bad for me. Um, is that I show him Aqua Jet. And that's not good. That's not good. That'll actually come back to uh, haunt me later on in the match. Um, but I, uh, and I figure, you know what, I'm just going to try to cycle through these guys because I want everybody to see their names. I was actually, because this isn't a team, I was actually kind of expecting to lose anyway. And so I just wanted to cycle through all their names. Uh, you won't actually get to see one of my guys' names. It's, uh, it's my Weavile, renamed him Temple after Tony Temple, a uh, running back. But, um, he does. I thought he was going to go for the Dragon Dance, but he doesn't. And so I figured he was just going to keep on trying to stone edge me. So I figured, you know what? I'll try to, you know, make this interesting. I'll switch out to Kaufman. This is the Metagross you all know. Um, but instead he, uh, Dragon Dances. Now he Dragon Dances. And, uh, I figure a Waterfall will kill me. And, so, but, um,. You know what, I'll just go for it anyway. And then he withdraws. It's basically a waste of a Dragon Dance, because Waterfall would have killed me. Um, my Meteor Mash misses. His Stone Edge hits, but my Meteor Mash misses. You know what, that's cool. Um, no, it's actually not cool at all. I, I lied. But uh, anyway, I'll go for the Meteor Mash this time. Um, I'm Life Orbed, so that's good. Um, after checking my options, I'm, I realized, wait a minute, I'm Life Orbed. Um, get the Meteor Mash uh, off it kills him, and I get my attack boost. That's all nice and awesome right there. Um, but uh, now I have to fight this thing. And so I'm... I could switch out to uh, Williams again, the Blastoise, but I don't know. I guess I just wanted to cycle through, and anyway, I, I get the attack boost on the bullet punch, so that's all good. And uh, anyway, this will let me know that now... Okay, now he's either special or a mix. And I'm ho kind of hoping special. So then... Uh, 
I don't know, Grass Knot, and hopefully try to use that on my Blastoise. But remember how I said the Aqua Jet would come back to bite me in the butt? Well, it would. I, w I forgot that I showed him Aqua Jet. So I'm thinking, okay, well, he's going to try to Grass Knot me. So then I can get a free hit off with uh, this next move, which you'll see. And then uh, he withdraws for an A. Come on, show him the move, show him the move, show him the move. Intimidate, which actually kind of hurts this move. Fake out, yeah. Love to have fake out. <laughs> Unfortunately, he intimidated me, and now he's pretty much back up to 100% with the leftovers. Yeah, whatever. Um, I was gonna try to fake out, and then when he was going to use rest, not aqua jet him and kill him. But uh, yeah, that's all good. Um, dragon dances, and now I'm just, you know what? I I have nothing that can take on a dragon dance to Gyarados, so I might as well just, you know, just keep on fighting, and then just show you all my, you know, the Pokemon that I have and their names to get ready for the Mizzou game. Um, but he tries to milk it, and he Dragon Dances again. But I figure, you know what, Ice Beam isn't going to do anyway. That's probably why he was trying to milk it, is because he knew Ice Beam wasn't going to hurt him much. But it freezes him. So, uh, it don't try to milk it. Um, even though in the end of this, he probably would have won. Anyway, it's questionable whether to do a Dragon Dance, but you know what, I, I guess it really didn't actually matter at all. Um, kind of thinking maybe switch out. I don't know. Maybe use the arrows later on for death fodder. Um, but he doesn't. So now I'm going to switch out. Um, yeah, that actually, that extra turn with the Folk's Punch wouldn't have made any difference because of what I was going to try to do. Here's this guy. His name is Daniel, named after Chase Daniel, our quarterback. Definitely should win Heisman. Um, probably the best quarterback in the, uh, nation. The only person who might be better is, uh, Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow was really good. I was going to try to, you know, hopefully st he would stay frozen because what, there's like, what, a 10% chance of getting unfrozen? Or what is it, 6% or something? I can't remember. But, um, someone will have to write that on the comments. But I was going to try to go for the nasty plot and then dark pulse. Um, but, um, yeah. Don't get the nasty plot. And here is Rucker, named after Martin Rucker, our tight end. Um, probably the best tight end in the nation. Definitely, I think. And, uh, get my fake out. That's awesome. Um, him, Shiftry, and Blastoise all have fake out on them, so I'd never actually use them all on the same team in a real fight. Even though I get, I, yeah, okay, no, this is a real fight too. I understand that, but, um, now I don't have another move that will go first. I think I could vacuum wave him, because I do have vacuum wave on this guy, but I was like, nah. Um, it wouldn't even do anything at all. But, um, Stone Edge doesn't actually kill me, and I'm thinking I can probably survive another one next turn. Kinda hoping he was gonna use Waterfall. But, um, anyway, get my Poison Jab, does a nice bit of damage, but unfortunately I'd need a critical hit on the next turn to, uh, do that, and maybe a Stone Edge miss. Maybe Stone Edge might not kill me, but kinda need it to miss. And, uh, fortunately for me, Stone Edge misses, and then here comes Poison Jab. Okay, get my critical hit. Yes, bad for him. But now, as you'll see, he's going to send out Garchomp, and then he gets disconnected from his bad connection, and here's Missouri Fight Song. 